how are you all doing today? I trust you're all getting super excited because you can get out and about now. Don't forget, always stay safe. In this week's video, we're going to be having a look at caterpillars and grubs. Well, one of each, really. I've already done the project, but I couldn't do this part because we had some adverse weather conditions. So just come with me and we'll just get straight into the project, which I did earlier this week. My first task for this little caterpillar is to draw a guideline for myself. Now I have to do this in pencil, okay? Um, and I won't be able to do it in pen. But I'm hoping that you can see the shape. If you can't, it's like a little bit of a hill. One up in the middle, okay? So I'm going to start over the head end and this is going to be my biggest oval. It's not exactly a circle, it's just a little bit off a circle. Okay. And now I'm going to move slowly down that line that I made, joining each one together. By the time I get to the tail, I've just got a tiny little bit left. Now for you guys, you can get on and paint this straight away. For me, I now have to wait for my black bit to dry. By now you guys will know that I like putting a white base layer on first. So that's what I'm doing right now. The next bit is completely you led. When you've got yours, you can do it one color or lots of different colors. What colors are you gonna use? Okay, so you saw me make a bit of a mistake here. I think I've managed to fix it. All that's left me to do now is his eyes, which when these are dry, I'll be putting little white dots in them and a smiley mouth. And then some of these and some little feet. What you can also do, if you prefer, is give him some little bits of fluffy bits because caterpillars can be a bit fluffy and who says this one can't be? Nice simple little caterpillar. Do you know, I just turned this over ready to prepare it for writing on and I've got a fossil how cool is that <laughs> of course they don't have to be that way they can be this way standing up ones I'm just going to put my outline on and then colour it all in As is always the case, I'm going to wait for this to dry, give her another coat, and then we'll start the painting. Okay, so I tried a much lighter green and it wasn't working, so I'm going to use a dark one. Draw in some eyes first. And then colour the rest. Doesn't look like much right now, but it will soon. So as you can see, they're really nice and simple. Using lots and lots of different colours in your painting. 
you can completely change the look of your little caterpillar or your little grub. Let's just have a quick look at them now. As you can see, the caterpillar was lovely, multicolored, nice and simple, just circles colored in. Of course, you could do them flat. You don't have to do them with an arched body if you don't want to. The upright one is super cool. He looks like he's wearing a pair of glasses. But there they are. All super lovely and simple for you. I'd love to see some of your spectacular little caterpillars and grubs over on our Facebook group. So nip over and don't forget to share them with us. I hope you enjoyed this week's my lovelies and I'll see you next Monday. We have new tutorials every Monday. If you'd like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe or support us on Patreon, Ko-fi or an Amazon wishlist. See the links in the description below. Until I see you next time, keep on rocking. Ciao for now.